Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Hearthstone and World of Warcraft lore video, I'm going to take a look at Helia. Helia is a legendary card in Hearthstone, a 4 mana 4 4 Death Knight card with one unholy rune. With a battle cry, shuffle all three plagues into your opponent's deck. Plagues they draw this game are unending. However, even though Helia is a Death Knight legendary card in Hearthstone, she has no connection to Death Knights in World of Warcraft. She has no connection to any plagues in World of Warcraft. As a matter of fact, Helia has a very, very tragic tale in World of Warcraft. We fight Helia as a villain while we're playing World of Warcraft, but she wasn't originally a villain at all. As a matter of fact, Helia was originally a titan construct, a powerful sorceress, and Helia most likely looked much like the card out for Keeper of Uldaman. Helia was probably a metallic construct, given that she was a sorceress and most metallic constructs of titans were more affiliated with these sorts of magics. So probably Helia was quite noble, metallic, titanic construct who actually did a lot of good in the early days of Azeroth. For example, because of her prowess as a sorceress, Helia, together with Keeper Ra, was responsible for creating the elemental plane pocket dimensions where Titans and Titan Keepers trapped Azeroth's elemental lords like Ragnaros the Fire Lord, and they isolated these from Azeroth and trapped them there for millennia. Because of Helia's prowess in creating pocket dimensions, the Keeper Odin, the prime designate at the time, assigned Helia to create Halls of Valor as a separate pocket dimension. Odin had big plans for Halls of Valor. Odin planned to use Halls of Valor to create Valarjar, powerful protectors of Azeroth who would be created from the souls of Death Rykel, the most glorious, the most daring Rykel. However, in order for this plan to work, Odin actually needed somebody to fetch the souls of this dead Rykel from Shadowlands so that Odin could forge them into Valarjar. And this was the weak point of Odin's plan. Odin wanted some Rykel to turn themselves into undead spirits who could then journey to Shadowlands and fetch these souls, but these undead spirits would be doomed to live a wretched life for all of eternity. Well, turns out that there were no volunteers. Also, Helia was adamant against this plan, and Odin got very, very angry at Helia. In his rage, Odin actually destroyed Helia's physical form and then turned her spirit into the first Valkyr and dominated her will and forced her to fetch those souls from Shadowlands. This wasn't a very nice thing to do at all and Helia was very, very upset and harbored thoughts of revenge against Odin. But she didn't get a chance for many, many years. Eventually, during Lo Keeper Loken's betrayal, Loken promised to return Helia's free will if Helia helped Loken trap Odin within the Halls of Valor and Helia readily agreed. Once again, Helia used her knowledge of pocket dimensions and sealed the pocket dimension of Hall of Valor so that Odin and Valar could not get out. After the Halls of Valor were sealed, Helia created her own pocket dimension, her own place where she would be the ruler and she would rule over the souls of dead Rykel. This dimension was called Helheim. But this is where things started to go a little bit wrong because Helia torn with hatred, torn with her thoughts of vengeance for many millennia, was at this point a bit of a mental wreck, and Helheim did not turn out quite the way she imagined. Instead, Helheim turned into a cursed, into a twisted realm, full of sadness, full of sorrow, full of futility. Also, Helia's own form became twisted and evil. And this carried on for many years, but eventually, Odin sent the player characters in World of Warcraft to defeat Helia, and when Helia died, Odin and Halls of Valor were finally free. Yay, go Odin. Wait, but Odin was actually the jerk. But anyway, we happily helped Odin, because Odin is cool and death to Helia. However, Helia's tale did not end here. When Helia died, well, her soul left for Shadowlands, and Helia had already made a pact with the Jailer, the ruler of the Moor in Shadowlands, and Helia continued to serve the Jailer in the Moor. Eventually the player characters fought against Jailer as well, and the Primus banished Helia from the Moor back to Helheim again. It is time to deprive the Jailer of his underling. Underling? Helia is no one's underling. I will not be silenced. I will not be 
imprisoned, my wrath shall haunt your... So this is getting a little weird. So Helia was originally a titan construct, then Odin destroyed her form and twisted her spirit into a Valkyr. Then she managed to get free will through Loken and became a twisted monstrosity and she started to work with the Jailer. Then she was killed and her soul went to the Maw and then from the Maw Primus banished her back to Helheim so she's effectively kind of resurrected because she was sent back from Shadowlands into the real world. Although we haven't seen Helia after that so I don't know if Helia is able to get away from Helheim anymore. Can Helia even touch the real world anymore or is she stuck in this pocket dimension? Either way, she was dealt a really bad hand. She was truly abused terribly by Odin. She was very upset and because she was upset then that meant that she corrupted everything around her and herself and then did a bunch of evil things and then players killed her and then they banished her and all sorts of stuff. So yeah. Elia, definitely one of the characters who was wronged the most in World of Warcraft lore and now taken into Hearthstone and turned into a Death Knight card whom she has no affiliation with, so she just keeps getting wronged, I guess. Tough luck. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.